This is Andrew Emmett with We Are Change. I'm here with Lee Camp, famous comedian over at United We Stand. Lee, what are you doing here today? I just want to know where you get a microphone cube like that, because I'm really excited by that. That's, that's it, impressive. That, that shows that you're big league. That is big league right there. That's what that says. I am doing here, uh, I am uh, a part of United We Stand because it's United We Stand against the two-party duopoly which rules our system and I just want like, you know, so there's people that aren't, don't consider themselves Democrats or Republicans who are, just agree with me from the beginning. Now those of you out there who are like, oh well I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican or whatever. I used to be a good Democrat. And then I realized that the two parties agree on 90%, like literally 90% of the structural issues of our country. They agree on the military industrial complex. They agree on the prison industrial complex. They agree on Wall Street. There's so much thought, there is so much world, so much life outside of this system we have set up that is exploiting everything, putting a dollar sign on everything, including life, including environment. There's a dollar sign on everything and there is a world out there we could learn about and enjoy and, 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 and become a part of and instead we are in a very small window that is driving off a cliff. What drove you to actually right. go into this type of comedy? All these things, whether it's rap that's aware, whether it's other types of music that's aware, whether it's poetry that's aware, whether it's speakers that's aware, it is often using art or uh, craftsmanship, entertainment, something to get people to wake up, to get people to learn, to get people to think outside of their normal paradigm, their day to day. like. Most of us understand that everybody has a job they're at all day long. They don't want to think about things. They don't go home and think, I want to watch a speech from a damn politician. They think, I want to be entertained. And so I've wanted to be a comedian my entire life. And now I feel like I'm using that comedy uh, with a message, with, with a message of think about this world we're in. And I, I'm... Like, like that's why I am this brand of comedian. And it took me a while to get here. Like, I actually feel like that the greatest comedians that get people to think are the ones who started off not trying to make people think. Like, trying to be just funny for funny's sake. Like, because you have to learn how to be a comedian before you can learn how to tackle these incredibly difficult, incredibly sad often, incredibly depressing issues and make them funny. And so I spent years as a regular comedian and now I feel like I've made this shift into comedy that is activism, that is a, a form of, uh, of news. Now you're right, you said a lot of these issues are very depressing, you've got NDAA, you've got the drone strike issue, you've got uh, loss of so many constitutional issues. How do you walk that balancing line between depression and comedy and what is your favorite punching bag? What is your favorite topic to just beat the hell out of on stage? <laughs> um, I try and walk that line. Sometimes I, uh, on the tightrope I fall. Uh, meaning I either make it too depressing or I, I'm sure there's times where I, I spend too much time on the funny and not enough time on the factual like uh, or the uh, whatever the deeper truths and it is a fine line to walk and I, I just do my best I, I do what I can um, and by the way if I can be a cheesy marketer for a second uh, sure. people, people can check out my new special and decide whether I walk that line well uh, it's you can pay whatever you'd like at LeeCamp.net for my new special, but um, I'd say that probably one of the most common punching bags that I come back to again and again is our mainstream media because our media and this is where people are getting their news, it's where people are getting their information, and it's where people learn what the world is and and what is possible, what is not possible. That is all conveyed in a in, in this few channels, you know. 10 channels maybe that people get this stuff from and those who get it outside of those 10 channels are incredibly more aware of the world we live in, incredibly more aware of the issues we're dealing with and those 10 channels are, are in, in, uh, continuing to push forward this idea that everything's fine and that this little tiny two-party system is going to solve everything and it's not. It's going to keep walking down this line of profit before people, of war over wealth, uh, 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 I mean sorry, not war, of war for wealth and war over the average concerns of people. So.
I completely agree. I thank you so much. Uh, would you like to tell anybody about future dates? Uh, your website, you said uh, you had a video. What was the name of that? Uh, the name of the new special is We Are Nothing. Uh, that's and 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 I know that sounds confusing, but you'll figure out what it means at the, when you watch the special. It's at LeeCamp.net, and I have a new TV show that has not aired yet, um, but it will air soon. So if you keep checking LeeCamp.net, you will learn about it. Great, thank you so much, Lee. Thank you. It's, 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 am I allowed to curse on this? Yes. yes, all right. It's fucking bizarre. It's, it's absolutely uh, uh, a geopolitical move, a money grab, a power grab. Something wrong with you, all right? <laughs> it is. You wouldn't be expecting even a dog knows not to shit where it eats.